Hi, Water Signs. This is for you to get yourself prepared. Because, Water Signs, this particular card is going to show you exactly um, what I'm talking about. There is going to be an offer, Water Signs. Be prepared. Now, for some of you, again, you see the Four of Cups. So, Water Signs, the offer that's coming towards you, and it is for the month of June, the offer that's coming is saying that I'd like to reintroduce myself. I'd like to get to know you better. I'd like to figure out where this went wrong. I'd like to um, share something that I have with you. Now, what are signs? This could be a relationship or it could be uh, a work type of situation, a co-worker, so to speak. But for the majority of you, I do feel that this is an offer that is coming from love. And the reason I say that is because there is, um, it, it's like a windy road. That's what I say. It's a winding road. This road feels like it's going to create some challenges for you, water signs. I also feel like with the, um, uh, again, you got a four. So that's the second four. With the four of swords, I do feel like with, with this particular road that is approaching you, with this particular opportunity, I feel that you're going to take some time to contemplate, take some time to understand, take some time to uh, receive the messages that are coming for you. I think that the idea of freshness and newness for some of you, or the idea of revisiting someone from your past, is definitely feeling because of not having the closure that was needed for those people who are wanting someone from their past. But what I hear is that the opportunity that truly lies before you is going to be with someone, someone who, for some of you, caused a broken heart. For some of you who still hold the pain inside of you. Okay, water signs. So if you're still feeling brokenhearted over someone, something, then know that because you didn't get satisfied enough with the reasons of why it no longer exists, then you are still holding a torch, so to speak, for that person. For a lot of you, I do feel like you are looking back on the past, looking back at all the different, all those pinnacle shows, all the different situations, all the different occurrences, all the different arguments, all the different um, situations that did not turn out in your, in your best interest, in your favor, uh, turn out the way you wanted them to. I also feel like there may have been, and, he, and he's got the um, nine... Now you got the nine of cups. So you had four, four, seven, and now nine. So you have the nine of cups, which I do feel like in the background, you kind of knew what was causing a block between the two of you. You kind of know who was creating that um, divider or who was creating that barrier for you to get closer to accomplish something here. I think that you'll understand when this offer comes in, and again, this offer is the Knight of Pentacles, I feel like you'll understand when the offer comes in, when they come in very calmly, nobody's rushing, nobody's um, demanding, nobody's being angry. This is just, it's happening by fate. It is being fated. It is in your destiny to either A, meet up with someone from your past, or B, someone new is coming in now, because I keep hearing, it's now, it's now. So what are signs, you're going to have a lot of different challenges that you're going to be able to get through quickly, you're going to be able to overcome, you're definitely going to let go, and we know what the tower card means, right? So you're going to be able to let go of things that previously caused you to so-called jump out of windows, uh, run for your life, um, take off, get out of Dodge, um, walk away, turn your back, whatever. All that shit that happened in the past that made you weep and cry and 
your self-esteem went lower, um, your wishes and your dreams, even your faith in God and a higher power dropped because you felt that God didn't hear your prayers. You felt that your prayers were being answered. But in fact, when you thought things were being broken down, they were actually being set up. So when this relationship or situation that you had ended, she's saying that it ended on a note or a level where it needed to be. For some, this person is not coming back. It is not happening. For some, you've already moved on and maybe even married someone else. For some, this person that's coming back who caused so much grief, heartache, worry, d discomfort, whoever caused all that, that person now is coming back and things will reverse. Things will finally start going into tune. For some of you water signs, you are the knight charging in quick, or you, water signs, your partner could be this knight, or or nitrous, whatever, charging in quick. So male or female, whichever way it resonates with you, someone will come back around quickly. The reason I say that means that this timing of this reading, this prediction, is coming soon. It is not 2020, 21. It is within 2019. I am going to say that for some of you who have felt like the Ten of Swords, who felt like, you know, you've had enough, you were stabbed in the back, you were betrayed, you were lied to, you were with a narcissist, all that kind of stuff, because of the Ten of Swords is why now you are able to sit very strongly on your throne. And from here, you're going to be able to make a decision on what is in your best interest, on what it is that you want to do. This person is now going to listen to you. This person coming towards you now wants to hear you express uh, your emotions, your joy, your fears, everything. And I think once you do that, then you will be on a very complete wave, different wavelength than you used to be with this person. I feel things will be more balanced. Here's you currently looking at the situation, looking at what you're dealing with now, looking at the you that you've picked up off of the ground, the you that you thought was destroyed and could never get back up. Now you're up and you're standing there. You do have two choices. That's why there's two poles here. You do have two choices to make. You have a choice to make either to continue on with what you're doing now. You have a choice to invite or allow someone new to come in. Or you have the choice to go back to someone from the past who still wants to try once again. Either way, understand that you also have the Ace of Swords, which means that you have the opportunity to receive a higher blessing, to um, achieve your goals, uh, to reach your happiness, and the universe is going to help you with that. I also feel like some of you are on guard. Some of you are guarding your heart. Some of you are worried about somebody coming in to steal something away from you. And I do feel like uh, for some of you, for them to get through your doors, for them to get through your walls, for them to get through your fears, they're going to need to put a lot of work in. But I do feel like there is one particular person who you cannot get off of your mind who is willing to finally dig deep, make something stable, make something secure. So that's coming. Again, confirmation, the lover's card. So with the lover's card, it is saying that the divine, okay, the higher power, God, the angels, your spirit guides are all joining together water signs to bring this blessing to you. Whichever way they see fit to meet your needs. it may You may think it's somebody coming from your past. But the universe may have a different plan for you. It may be somebody brand new that they're bringing in for you. Somebody who is going to give you what you deserve. Okay? Not selfishly what they think they deserve. So your past partner for some of you thinks that they are entitled to all the uh, above. Where, in fact, they don't feel like you should reap so many rewards. They feel that they should re reap more. So if that's your ex, then you're going to get somebody new. 
So you'll know the difference between whether you're getting somebody new or whether you're getting your, your ex. For some of you, like I said, your ex is leaving or has left. Your ex is on a whole nother journey and they need to continue on that journey because they were in your place with you for a time period and that is over. That is over. That is a one and done. For some of you with the um, page of cups, some of you are going to get an offer and are going to look at it very closely, all, almost like with a microscope, so that you can examine carefully. You'll listen carefully. You'll hear carefully. You'll see carefully. You'll think more carefully. You'll listen a lot closer than you did before. Now your antennas, so to speak, are up. Your antennas are listening. They're, they're digitaling. It's like this. Do, 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 do. Meaning... They're, they're covering all the boundaries. Something's covering all the boundaries, all the boundaries, to make sure, are they really being truthful? Is that what they said before? Is this a lie? Was this a truth? You're going to evaluate everything that's said or done to you. Because this time, with your boundaries up, like I said, and you know, with the uh, four cups, like we brought up before, the arms are folded, right? That's not somebody... But that body language doesn't say, I'm welcoming you, I'm accepting you, and I'm open to you. That body language with the arms folded is saying, back off. I'm not ready for this. You show me what you got, but I'm not sure. I need to think about this. And that's exactly what that's saying. So be prepared. You're going to do some thinking. You're definitely going to do some thinking. You're going to be able to make some observations. And you're going to be able to decide whether or not with the world, whether you're going to let things go back around a full circle meaning go back with somebody that you were with in the past, or whether you're going to take on a new challenge. And I feel like some of you are pretty much going to leave away from an ex-partner. You're going to take your shit and run, kind of like a thief in the night. Okay, that's what you see here with the um, Seven of Swords. You see somebody, you know, taking what they can and running like hell. For some of you, uh, some of you, you're walking away because you don't want to fight anymore. You don't want to argue anymore. You just don't want to do this anymore. So be prepared for what's coming. But I think that water signs, uh, if you were in a third-party situation in the past, uh, please know that this is no longer existing. Um, for now, I feel like this partner is wanting to concentrate on you and be with you. I also feel like there could be a Sagittarius around you, water signs, or there could be an air sign. Okay, now water signs, uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So there is somebody around you, water signs, that you are finding um, to be very intriguing, to be creating such an attraction that you are not sure what you should do. But I think that this is going to open your eyes. I think it's going to be an eye-opener. I think the rose-colored glasses are going to come off. So let's see what's going to happen once you take off those rose-colored glasses.